Hey, welcome to Jeep Solo. This video is about the Viver uh, water cooler for the Yes Welder, uh, or hooking it up to the Yes Welder. I suppose you can hook it up to anything you want. Uh, it was pretty confusing. None of the fittings uh, here came with the right fittings. They were all uh, male fittings, so we had male and male. Um, so this is the Viver uh, wand, water-cooled wand. It's like 70 bucks on Amazon. This is like one of their most affordable or, or lowest price, uh, priced, uh, 10 liter coolers. And then you also need this adapter piece here. It's not straightforward at all. So this whole thing has taken a while to get set up and I couldn't find any reviews or any info about this. So let's see. So first you can't get this out with this connected. It hits everything. And then it also hits up at the top here. The uh, big piece of brass that's on the end of this, I had to cut off about an inch of it to get it to fit in here. So you can see, if I undo this one, it's, the cutoff is right at the nub. Well, the new piece, um, it had the nub and then like another inch of brass uh, rod coming out. So I had to cut that whole thing off and then it fit just fine. Then you've got to unthread this thing, uh, the gas connection to get it to come in. And then that actually ends up not being the gas connection. It's the return line for the liquid. The gas ends up going down the red line here, down into the jacket and to the torch. The blue is the cold water in. So it's the output from the cooler. The black line, which initially had this big block on it so had this giant block i am not sure what this is for and why it has a big what looks like a ground if you guys know and you could tell me am i supposed to be using this because it didn't hook to anything that i have um, and then all these fittings you have to cut them off so i chopped all these off the hoses that were there um if this is not hooked up correctly, let me know. I actually have not done a weld yet, but I can fire this up. And the water is circulating from this back to this. Uh, and then if you hook it up wrong, you will get liquid squirting out of the end here. And I can feel the pulsing in the in the handle. There's like a the pump pulse happening. So uh, I've only put in like two liters just to test this out so um, this is taking quite a while I had to use I don't remember if this came with the water cooler or if I ordered this separately but I needed this extra end um, so you're gonna use up the two ends that this comes with right away and then you're going to need a third one to go here. And so that's what I ended up using one of these for. Um, and I just, I can't remember if I ordered this separate. I ordered a whole bunch of extra parts. You have to order this thing separately. This is the, uh, like, gas TIG adapter or something. But then you have to modify this as well. So you pretty much have to my modify everything. Uh, the water lines, if you blow through them there's a huge amount of resistance. So it's almost like there's a pinhole size water flow in the torch because it, it's very restrictive. So um, that seems odd that it's not a free flowing water system. So this was the initial hookup. I'll let you know how it works once I um, get a weld going. I just, uh, I've been welding up my axles and this torch gets hot so fast. So you throw this thing up to 200 or 225 amps and it just 
Uh, the torch, you can't even hold on to it with leather gloves after about 10, 15 minutes. So I'm hoping this is going to fix that.